Hello painters and decorators of the interweb. It's Phil Beckwith, the professional painter and decorator. Back with you with an instalment of something a little bit different than what we normally do. This is a total house renovation. So we've come in first day. You can see there's a load of building work being done. Lovely part of Nottingham. We only work in lovely parts of Nottingham, don't we? And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tell you what, we're, what the process is, what we're going to be doing on this job and um, I'm going to ask you if there's anything that you want information on particularly if you're doing house renovations and work like this um, any tips, tricks, anything that you want to know painting and decorating wise about how you approach something um, I'm here to help so yeah let's have, a, let's have a look inside see where we are with it there's still a lot to do as you can imagine obviously it's always ready for the painter and decorator Right, so see you in a minute, I'll take you inside. I'm back with you, so we're inside. So we we'll start on the ground floor. We're in like a little bit of a boot room. You can see where we are with it. It's nowhere near ready for me, is it? Particularly downstairs. We've got bare plasterboard. We've got brand spanking new casements um, going on. Some old frames are being utilized. Coming into the back entrance. It's all, it's all the stuff that you'd be doing if you were renovating your own property. Stripping everything back, losing the light. Oh, you can see me. Oh, look how good looking here. <sighs> but yeah, look, ceilings, bare plaster, the lot. This is like, the utility area. I'm going to come into the main rear passage and into a, a lounge area. Now, this has got the proper traditional plaster coving. They've had some repair on the plastic coving up there, you can just see that. Got lovely fireplaces that will be um, sorted out later on once I've got going. But yeah, you're going to ask me, Phil, what we're going to do with this? Well, we're going to do the proper prep. We're going to be sanding down walls. We're going to be wash coating. We're going to be spraying. We're going to be doing woodwork. MDF woodwork will be um, primed, undercoat to finish. Might have even a little extra coat if I need to. The bare wood, what we're going to do with that Phil? Bare wood, we've got knots, we've got to treat the knots, we've got to prime it, we've got to undercoat it, we've got to two finish. And I say, if I start spraying it, I probably have more than three and four coats because I can quickly bang an extra coat on, no problem. So that's where we are with these downstairs rooms. Again, utility rooms. Lovely, they're all going in. All things that are going to be bagged up and protected, ready for spraying ceilings. Uh, windows are going to be taped up, protected, and we're going to spray ceilings and walls where we can for wash coating. Ceilings will be finished with um, anti-reflex finish paints, um, fire and ball colours, I think we've got fire and ball colours going on here. The other thing that you will probably be interested in, if you're a home renovator, DIYer, we've got these lovely outdoors. And again, you're going to say, Phil, what are you going to do with these lovely outdoors? Are you going to oil them? No, I'm not going to oil them. When I come to that part of the stage of this project, we'll do another video on what we do with outdoors. Because, I mean, a lot of people say oiling, but personally, I don't care for oiling of doors. They seem to pick up all the dirt off your fingers. And over quite a short period of time, where you've got your door handles down here, you can see finger marks and things like that. So we'll talk about that on another video. This video now is just a brief... Um, description of what we'll be doing and I'm asking you comments when you're smashing that like button and the bell you can just tell me what you'd like to know about these sorts of jobs because I've got radiators on there will all be coming off but I'll stop you there let's go and have a look in the kitchen right we're back we're in the kitchen kitchen's been fitted over the summer you can see part lived in part not it'll be all cleared out when I want to come to do it you can see over my back shoulder we've got ceiling lights hanging down, bare plaster again, we've got traditional proper coving and bare plaster walls. So this is going to be an interesting one, particularly if you're into doing house renovations, house flipping um, and anything decorating wise where you're starting from virtually scratch. Because I'm going to be doing it as you'll be doing it or you'll be doing it as I'm doing it. So my dad's come in, he's giving us hand this week, um, got some coving to put up, that'll be another video. So yeah we've got a lot to do um, the plan is a month turnaround I doubt it it'll be a month turnaround because we've got quite a lot to do and there's other people um, still finishing their bits and bobs off but 
yeah, shall I take you upstairs and we'll have a quick look upstairs? Right, see you in a bit. And the lad's back in the room with you. Now, this is one of the front bedrooms. It's only two nicely sized front bedrooms. They roughly measure about 3.6 by 3.6. Got a chimney breast in there. Again, ask me about chimney breasts if you want to do wallpapering. How do you approach papering a wallpaper in um, chimney breast? You can ask me that. What we're going to be doing this week in the next few days. See on the floor we've got some plaster, call it gyp rock coving. You know the plaster coving that's got the paper around it. We'll be applying that to the ceilings. So that'll be another video. We've already got ceiling centres up, somebody's fitted those. But this is um, plaster coving. The, well, we'll call it gyp rock, that's a brand name. This is the Nerf, Nerf, how do you spell it? K-N-A-U-F, Nerf. Not like Nerf guns, but the Nerf um, plastic coving. We'll be fitting this up. We use um, tile adhesive, waterproof tile adhesive. Put some nails in it, just um, just to tack it in place, and then we get that all up. But I say that'll be on another video. We'll come on to that in another time. But yeah, we've got bathroom en suites. We've got, we've got dressing rooms. We've got all the things that you'd be wanting to know information on all the way around. So let's flip it down. Like that. Near the joiners working away. So that's where we are for now. I'll take you into the other room. I'll show you that where we're starting off. Bye. Another room back with you. See, we're getting all getting the um, coving ready to put up. We'll show you how to do that in another video. I've just said that. But can you see where we are? Staircase. Staircase has got panelling going around again. We'll talk about spraying that in another video. So yeah, for now, let's call let's call it a day. So this is a quick video, it makes a change for me, doesn't it? So I want comments, what you'd like me to be doing, ask questions, I'll give you some advice, and um, over the period of the next few weeks, as I come to stages that you might find really interesting, because you know watching paint dry and really interesting stuff. Um, We'll do a video on it. So, bye for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the subscribers. Over now.